Online Academy and uh, in this video session we will discuss the concept of super keys and uh, we will further see important MCQs that has been asked from this topic so that you can get understanding that uh, what type of questions can be asked and uh, it is our lecture 6th and in our previous lectures we have discussed the concepts like uh, why DBMS is important then we have seen some important concepts of code rules then we have started the concept of candidate keys and then after prime attributes, non prime attributes and then primary key and alternative keys and in this lecture we are discussing about super key concept right. So if you want to learn from very scratch then you can start from lecture one onwards so that you can get concept very clearly right. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that uh, in our upcoming session also whenever we will upload a new content for you whether it is in the form of video lectures or for the purpose of job alerts or current affairs you will not miss any of the important updates and you will get uh, notified easily right so please press the bell button icon also and please watch the uh, video lecture until the end so that you can get pass up with the problems right so it is the very important session of the video because until and unless you will not pass up with the questions uh, it is uh, not so much uh, effective right so let's start here we are starting super keys so basically super key is the attribute set which is used to uniquely differentiate or identify records and it may not be minimal attribute set means he previously we have discussed about candidate key candidate key is the minimal set of attributes which defines or which differentiates or identify records so the minimal attribute set is called as candidate keys but super key is the collection of all such sets right super keys collection of all such sets which can identify units uh, uh, which can identify records uniquely but it may not be it may not be minimal how you can clarify this let's see the example here employee data is given to us which consists of employee ID attribute, employee name attribute and date of birth attribute. Now here candidate key given to us is employee ID means EID here is a candidate key. But we have to know that it is a minimal attribute set which will differentiate the record. But if I will add ED with ename means ED itself differentiating the record uniquely. But what if I add ED with ename it will also un uniquely differentiate the record right. And if I will add EID with DOV that is date of birth then it will also able to differentiate records uniquely. However we will we need not require ename here to differentiate unique uh, uh, to differentiate the record but if I add them now then this combination is called as super key EID with DOB this is also super key and one of the more super key you can design with this attribute is that EID along with ename along with DOB so this complete set of attribute it is also super key so one super key two super key three super key four super key so total how many super keys are there four how can you calculate here only what we have one candidate key and the remaining attributes are one and two so two to the power two is equals to four so four super keys are possible in this right now candidate key is the minimal minimal key which will differentiate the record is candidate key but if I will take the super set then I can call this super set as a super key because candidate key is itself in it and candidate key along with the known prime attributes means ename and DOB all also combined to form super keys right so I hope it is the it is clear to you further for practice session let's see the problem so that you can clarify how many super keys are possible in we have given a set r w x y z w x y and z are attributes now we have given that w here is a candidate key it is given to us now we have to find how many super keys are possible so just similarly which we have solved in the session what you have to do w can make combination with x as well as w can make combination with y as well as w can make combination with z 
W itself alone is also super key, but we will call call it candidate key because it is the minimal attribute, right? Then W with X Y is also super key. W with X Y and Z is also super key. W with Y and Z is also super key, and W with X and Z is also super key. So if you will calculate one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. So total is two to the power three. That is eight super keys are possible in it, right? So option A is the correct answer. So I hope the concept which I have discussed with you is clear to you. Now let's see one more problem so that you can get uh, more concept clear. Question is given to us that R A B C D E means we have a given a set of attributes A B C D E and candidate key here are A and B C. A and B C both are candidate keys in this. And now we have asked that how many super keys are possible, right? So how we will calculate? So there are two methods. So let's see method one that how we will calculate. First thing is that. Make the combination of A with the remaining one. So there are many possibilities, right? Because if I will treat this A as a candidate key alone, then remaining known remaining attributes are B, C, D, and E. Means four attributes are there. Means total two to the power four is equals to sixteen. Now, if I will treat this B C as a candidate key, then remaining attribute is this B C al complete is a candidate key. So remaining attributes are A, D, and E. So total two to the power three is equals to eight. But don't forget a concept here that some keys might be there which is common in both these two, like A, B, C. This A, B, C. If you will take, then it is common such such like that many keys are there. Which is common to both these attributes. So, if you will see, I will make a Venn diagram so that you can understand it well. Here we have treat A as a super key, and here we have treat B C as a super key. Now here, two to the power four, two to the power four are the total number of super keys which I can design with A because remaining attributes are four. And here, if you will see. B C if I treat B C completely as a candidate key, then total two to the power uh, total three attributes are remaining. So total two to the power three attribute uh, super keys are possible from this set. Now, how many keys are there which is common to both? How can you calculate? So basically, the concept here is that what you have to do A right along with A B C. And if you will see A and B, A and C, so these four keys are there, right? These four keys are there because with A, B, and C, how many candidate key I can generate? How many super key I can generate? So if I will treat A as a candidate key, then along with this B and C, we have to calculate maximum super keys, right? So two to the power two, that is four. Super keys are possible in this. So total super keys that we can uniquely design, uniquely uh, we can say that total possibilities there, which can determine the data sets or records uniquely is 16 plus 8 minus 4. What I said, 16 plus 4 minus 16 plus 8 minus 4. This minus we are doing because of because these keys are. A, A, B, C, A, B, and A, C are generated by this A as well as this B, C also. So we have to subtract one. Means we have to subtract one set of that which is generating either by A, B, or B, C. So total is 16 plus A, 24 minus 4 is equals to 20. So total number of uh, possibility or total number of super keys that can be generated by this where A and B, C are candidate keys are 20. Option B is the correct answer, right? Now it is the method one of our calculation. Now if you will say that what is the method two, then in our method two, it is very simplest method. So the method is that number of super keys I can write in here that number. It is the shortcuts number of super keys are 
number of super keys we can, which we can generate from this are number of super keys among number of super keys among number of super keys among prime attributes number of super keys among prime attributes multiply with 2 to the power number of non prime attributes number of non prime attributes now number of super keys that can be generated with prime attributes are so if you will see with prime attributes means from a from b and c if you will take then a a b a b c a c and b c is also possible right so total number of super keys that we can generate from prime attributes what is prime attribute we have discussed earlier so i will not discuss this concept here so total number of primary at primary prime attributes that can be generated here are 5 the total number of super keys among prime attributes here are 5 multiply with 2 to the power non prime non prime are only d and e because it is not part of any candidate key so 2 to the power 2 Here five into four is equals to twenty, so twenty is the answer. So I hope it is clear to you. Further, if you have any doubts, queries, comment us. We'll try to solve your queries and doubts as early as possible. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.